Hey guys, it's me now. Welcome back to Strife Quest for the Sigil. In the last part, we uh, finished the game, so to speak, and but now we've gone back for the si for the actual ending, and that involves a lot more than the other ending. Let me tell you that. In fact, probably tons more. But anyway, so I haven't been recording for a couple of months. We found out that the order is transforming our people into biomechanical soldiers, and the faculty is where it's been. The oh, facility, sorry, not the faculty. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so hopefully I'm not a bit rusty, but um, anyway, so what we have to do is that uh, for some odd reason, that thing is happening. By the way, I, I just uh, I just found out between the last two parts, which I know when I said I haven't been recording for a couple of months, that wasn't the best thing to say. Let's uh, abort that. Let's just say we're going, we're going smooth. It's been smooth sailing. No, none of you in the re-recordings and when you're watching this when it's all done, none of you will notice that. <laughs> So, yeah, but uh, what I found out is uh, just casually, um, you know how we'd be going to all the, getting all that stuff for the, um, the accuracy and the stuff? Apparently the other three are all given out, like, just to you for doing the story. So anyway, we're gonna head to the Order Commons. Now this is kind of their home place. I'm surprised they don't notice that I'm holding, like, the, the sigil, and they're like, oh, crap. Acrobatics, what a look. So anyway, so we could go around and, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. We can buy weapons, we can do all the other stuff that we could do in the other town. And in fact, this is a little bit of a hub world for the last portion of the game. Uh, mainly because it's a little bit long. Um, but anyway, so if you see this man in a yellow outfit, if you're playing the original 1996 version, you won't notice this guy. But anyway, he's like, hello, what are you doing? Doing stuff, go away, okay. Nah, actually go back up to him again and he'll be like, fine. If you have this much time to waste, see if you can find the blue chalice. My studies on the order suggest they have it hidden somewhere in the manufacturing sector of the factory. This artifact would be of great value to me, so bring it to me and I'll help you out. That, that is a very, very nice thing you can get. Mainly because, one, there's an achievement for it, and two, because it'll give you some cool stuff. As well as, uh, it'll get you to go to areas that aren't actually required in the game. But anyway, head in here and talk to the green man right here and he'll be like, Thank Deus you got here. To enter the factory you need a key. We stole it, but our agent is missing in the web of catacombs under the Order's stronghold. I have sent ten good men into those tunnels to find him, and none have returned. Something is down there. Not. Definitely not. Whatever it is, you must fight it to retrieve the key. I'll open the catacombs entrance. When you've got it, the factory is next to the mines. Hurry, each second counts. You're wasting time and lives. Move! Move. I, lo I love how he's... The factory is next oh. to the mines. Richter must mean the mines of Degnan. The Degnan ore is magnetic and explosive. Just the thing for shutting down force field. Alright. I, I think it's a little bit weird how, like, sudden he acts when I'm like, is it human? He's like, no, no, not human. No. Can't hold anymore. No! Look at all this casual stuff here. What about you, Mr. Redman? There's no way that this is just a security force. Yeah, I know. Um, so this area is actually kind of big. And you can pick up some nice goodies just laying about. But none of it's really useful. You also see that there's a few quest objective markers pointing towards, like, those things just to the east of us. Don't go there. That's for later. What we want to do right now is we want to go over here to this casual staircase. You know why? Because it's yet another sewer level! Catacomb sewers! What a first date! I'm gonna burn them spiders! I'll teach them for stepping on my property! Pay rent, you fool! I don't know. Um, so yeah. So I feel like I've kind of been a bit quiet on the, um, on just the whole... I don't know, it's just controversy after controversy, you know, on the internet. Sony trademarking Let's Plays, and I'm like, mate, you can't, you can't trademark generic terms like that. And then the Fine Brothers trying to do reactions, I'm like, mate, you can't trademark generic stuff like that. Be specific. Let us, as people know, what you're doing. Just, just be like, completely flat out. Because that video didn't really talk about them trademarking the React name, and the problem is, is that, like, I, maybe it's just like, oh, Jesus Christ, he landed on top of me and I couldn't move, what, what a jerk, I'm getting completely wrecked by these things, but I'm like, dude, I'm, 
I'm wrecking them. This is a bajillion spiders. Um, so yeah. But, uh, like I've watched tons of videos of people talking about it. And I've watched the Fine Brothers, like, talk about it, and I know they, re like, redacted it. It's not a thing anymore. But I think it's, it shouldn't just be like, oh, we'll just brush over this piece of history. It's like, no, like, <laughs> if you want to change the world, first of all, licensing is not really a change the world thing. And I, th I, th I think, like, it it's pretty dang obvious that what they were doing just didn't go with what they said. Like, changing the world, not following uh, new media. By the way, this place is an absolute nightmare to navigate. It's a pain. Um... Which is why you have a map, and then you see that, and you go, where the heck is it? And these places, they are just naturally close off. Or the exits to other places that open up later, because you see the green line on the map there? Yeah. Um... <laughs> and here especially, it's like, I, I feel like this place connects a lot of uh, places in their sewer, but uh, where you want to go in particular is over here. Because I'm gonna get out the pistol, the machine gun. One, because 70 accuracy is actually really dang good now. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, oh, hey buddy, how? I didn't notice you there. I also like the, the mice. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, that that's mainly the thing is that like people, people were immediately onto the fact that like, dude, you're making, you're just trying to make a bajillion dollars. Like, you want to change the world. You make something for free. Uh, by the way, you can go down here. And I'll, de I'll demonstrate what's good down here, because... It just kind of leads you back to the Bailey. And you're like, the Bailey? What do you mean, the Bailey? And then lower this. And then, wha-bam! Like, here. And you're like, oh... Is there any reason? Uh, it might be a bit quicker to get to the catacombs. And possibly to connect to other places, but... I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to get really anywhere, considering you have to keep going back to the front, the, not the front base, the, uh, the other place. I think we're... Oh crap, I have no idea where we are. Uh, we are in the catacombs. I'm pretty, I'm pretty useful when it comes to locating things. People be like, I lost something, Can, do you know where it is? And I'm like, uh, in a position somewhere on Earth. You'd be amazed how much the flamethrower is good at, like, hitting people. Or not even people, at, like, hitting... Just, uh... Just, like, machines. So you have to raise that platform, by the way. Um... I know, for the first time in my entire life, I have played a bit ahead, and then... Recorded it, so I know what I'm doing slightly. Mainly because I also have not played this game in a couple of months. And I'm still lost anyway, so it doesn't matter. What up, buddy? You're on fire! I feel like it's good to be demonstrating some of these weapons, and I gotta use the, um... The, uh... Devastator, or whatever it is. Not the Devastator, that's Unreal Tournament, mate. That's Unreal Tournament! Uh... Hold on. Wait, it's down here. There it is. I wish Richter had been a touch more specific. Hmm, let's try over here. Get him! Get them! Yeah! Um... So fortunately this catacombs level isn't too bad, other than the kind of awkward maze part at the beginning, but uh... It's not like a, the puzzles are really, like, too bad. In fact, that was the only real puzzle, just flip the switch and then... ...find your way back up. Um... This door should really open somehow, cause like, that was the door we met on the other side. Hello door, how are you doing? Drain the water level. Oh, we're here. All right. <laughs> also, I should be saving a little bit more often, but that's okay. So anyway, now we're at the ruined temple. This must be the ruins that Richter's agents were searching for. Oh, watch out, Crusaders! <laughs> I, I love how like like she breaks her dialogue just to go, watch out, Crusaders! I don't even know I'm here. Now they do, but it's beside the question. I got him. No, then I've got tons of missiles. Fear me. Ah, crap. Oh, 
clear out both sides. Just get rid of this guy. There we go. Now we can get rid of everyone coming from one side. And then, and then this guy's coming in and it's like, ah, get off. The buff. I don't want it. I don't want to buy it. Um, but you'll notice that there's this kind of nice temple here. Like, I know, I know this is Doom Engine, but some of the, you can make some very, like, neat architecture. You know, you, you know, without slopes. For the most part, it's alright. Ow. Ow, that wasn't nice. Apologize, sir. And then, uh, at some point, I think it's when you take out all the big dudes that the temple opens. And then you may notice... And if I get out my, my sigil, it's painfully obvious what we have to do, because you'll notice there's a dude there, and he's going to lightning spam us. Why do you not... Alright, I don't, I don't have the, the range on him. There we go. No? How are you still alive? Dude, on my, like, freaking practice run, I killed him in one go. There we go. My friend, whatever it is we're fighting, it's more than just the order. Off to the mine. Oh, oh. Stop. There we go. As you can see, it's a key card. And then that, that, that was it. So what we have to do is that, uh, yeah. All you had to do was go here, pick up a key card. But wait, there's slightly more. There's, uh, there's one little secret that you can grab. And that is also, look at all this stuff. Look at all this free, like, stuff. I didn't use because you can't use the flamethrower against the really tough dudes because it's kind of annoying. Um, and so if you go to, I want to say not here, not here. Um, I want to think, I think I remember it was this one. Oh, we're going for the health, by the way. I feel like we need to restock as well. How much money do we have? Quite a bit. There we go. I remember this one. Um. I mean, there's no real reason to do this before or after or anything. But if you go here, it's a secret. And then you get ambushed by, like, these two dudes. And you're just like, get off. You seen that? It, like, bounced off them. Alright. So anyway, um, yeah. There's one thing this game has taken from Doom. It's its classic death traps. But if you notice, something's a little off. And that's right, this tower's a bit broken. If you use it, two things happen. Teleporter out, and this... Beautiful green talisman that doesn't belong in this world. Now, remember when we picked up the blue one? We got a green one now. And there's one more left, and unfortunately, it's the most obnoxious one to find. Um, and I'll give you a pro tip. It had something to do with that yellow man. But, apart from that, that's all we had to really do. And unfortunately, there's no real like easy way to back out, or at least if there is, and I don't know about it. Uh, in that case, we'll go back to the catacombs, and then we'll go back to the base. Pick up some ammo, because you never know how much ammo you'll need, especially because you, I can hold 500. Also, you can get yourself up here. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, wandering around, trying to find stuff. Um, so yeah. So if you're wondering about the whole two... Whoa. Plus. If you're wondering about the whole two months thing, uh, that's because, again, I've been kind of lazy. Half of it has been me kind of being lazy. The other half is me being, like, ridiculously, like, sick. Um, like, like I've been like, okay, I've, I've got time to record, it's quiet, and I'm ready to do this, and then it's just like, <laughs> or I was, uh, like, uh, two weeks back, I... My tooth around my wisdom tooth just was like, and I was like, I can't talk because it hurts. And now I'm on like some antibiotics and I'm having a ridiculous like pimple outage. But then it's just like, hey, at least I can talk. At least I feel okay. There we go. So I'm, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to make it sound like I want to pity, like, like, you know, all the, all the like, like, comment and subscribe, you know. Um, nah, but. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just like, I, I want to make sure that I'm the best I can, and I unfortunately was not, like, that well, so, 
Hopefully, hopefully I'm a bit better. We got this. I'm actually, you can't jump over there, okay. Um, so even though that we blew up that guy and it felt like it was a really huge, like, deal, uh, if we go back to... I mean, there's not really any reason why we have to go back. In fact, I'm not even at the right spot, am I? Because this place is so confusing. There's coins in the water, by the way. That's what I'm picking up. Can't see them, but they're there. Um, so that's our end goal. But, uh, in the next part, I know in the next part, but, uh, in the next part, we'll head off to the mines and we'll check out what's going on down there. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll figure out some cool stuff. Yeah. So, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!